So unlike the grow bed to fish tank ratio, there is a such thing as a fish to water ratio. The school of aquaponics, um, where you can figure out how much fish uh, you can stock inside of a given amount of water. Um, and there's different ways that you can uh, come up with this, and there's uh, different types of stocking densities that you can use depending on the type of fish that you have um, and depending on just the, um, the, the type of output that you want uh, to see. So um, one way that you can do this is if you're going to do like a commercial scale system, um, then you're going to want to maximize your production. So it's all when you're doing commercial systems, it's all about uh, profit and uh, maximizing the amount of profit you can um, without um, uh, um, compromising any part of the business. Now, there are some people who do not maximize the fish part of aquaponics, and that is just a loss on their end. That's not to say you can't still be profitable with the vegetables, but you have a better chance doing hydroponics if you're not going to be concerned with the fish because you're going to get the same output but with just half the, uh, the, the responsibility. So that's just a, a, almost a common sense type of approach. But some people, everyone, you know, some people just love aquaponics and they want to do it that way. So that, you know, that is fine as well. That is fine as well. But just maybe not the best business move. Or maybe it is, depending on the niche. If you have a customer base that only wants aquaponic vegetables, then it will make sense. But, you know, the, mo the majority of people have no clue about aquaponics. And, you know, they, they'll accept anything that's pretty much fresh and that they think is whatever, organic or whatnot, um, but whatever. So on a commercial scale, if you want to maximize profits, you, you typically want to have um, a fish to water ratio of about half pound of fish to about uh, every one gallon of water. And this is um, the pretty much the, ma the profit maximizer right here when it comes to um, the, the, the fish part. Now, there's some people out there that will see fish tanks with high stocking densities and will automatically assume that is overcrowded. Just making assumptions without doing the proper research, just throwing it out there, just because it seems off of speculation that it's the wrong stocking density. They're comparing a human experience to uh, a, a totally different species. I mean, of course, if it was a human and we're standing shoulder by shoulder, of, co of course that's uncomfortable and it's not ideal, but we're not fish, fish are not humans. They can, especially a species like t uh, tilapia, when you do that, when you read um, information on tilapia, you'll find out that they perform better in high density uh, environments. When you, like if you have tilapia and you have them in a low density environment, what they do is they're super aggressive. They're like the pit bulls of, of fish. They're constantly nipping at each other, constantly biting on each other, constantly chasing each other. And you don't have that aggression problem when you have high stocking densities. Now it is possible to stock even denser than, than this. There's people that can do it at one pound for every one gallon of water, but of course you're adding liquid oxygen um, and, and super saturating the oxygen levels um, in the water, and, but this is something we're not doing uh, really in aquaponics. So you just keep it at the half pound per gallon. That's maximum. Maximum, you don't want to go f any further than that really, um, and, and you, that's how you maximize the profit with the fish. Um, now, if you're on a hobby level, you could test it out this way. It's just gonna, you're just going to have to you know, be more attentive than, uh, to what you're doing. So it, it, it's less room for error when you're operating at high densities like this. It's, you, it's not room, really a large margin of er, uh, for error. So a lot of people go lower densities. Like you can do a one pound for every uh, uh, five to 10 gallons. That would work out fine. And just to be super clear on it, what we're talking about, when we're talking about a half pound to uh, a one gallon of water, we're referring to the final weight of the fish. You don't just initially stock at that rate. You stock at a lower rate and then you, where you know that eventually after a given amount of time that the fish will grow into that final stocking density. And this would allow you, especially this works well if you're starting out your system, because this is how you can do a, 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 a fish cycle system. You have your small amount of fish in there and you can feed them. And as they grow, then you can have your nitrification growing along with your fish. So it all works out perfect if you have it designed correctly. So this is Brooklyn St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics. Woo!